Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. We're going to do a quick video review on an all new glove from Speed and Strength. This is the Moment of Truth SP glove. Now, first thing I want to show you is the amount of pre curve they have sewn into the glove. I'm not really trying not to influence that here with my hand. You can see that the pre curve gets a little bit stronger too as you get towards the pinky. Just keeps the gloves more comfortable because the reality is your hands are typically more in this position than they ever would be that. Let's talk about the materials used on this glove. It has the high impact knuckle. It has a mixture of leather and mesh with a neoprene cuff on the top of the glove. The hang tag for the speed and strength glove says most comfortable gloves, best fitting gloves. I'd say they're comfortable. They fit very well for sure. Let's talk about sizing with these. That's one of the most important things for people that are going to order online. We find these gloves run very consistent with many others that are out there today. For example, I wear a 2X in just about anything, okay? I've got a 2X on now. They feel great. They fit just as I'd expect them to. Very little break-in would be required for me. What I'm saying is if you know you're a large in most gloves, order a large. We think you'll be very happy with the fit. There are some exceptions. Uh, one I can think of right off the top of my head is going to be the Alpine Star uh, GP Series gloves, the racing gloves. In those, I need to go to a 3X in order to get a decent fit. The 2X is just simply too tight. So that would be one example that runs a little inconsistent. But most of your common gloves out there, this runs very consistent. If you know you're large, just pull the trigger, you'll be fine. We have here in the high impact knuckle, we've got leather that that's sewn to. You'll see too that that is, it floats independent of the mesh chassis for the glove. The reason is when you make a fist, it just allows that knuckle to articulate so it's not pulling on the gloves. It makes it feel more comfortable, move a lot easier. Okay? Leather overlays here in all the knuckles, some foam padding sewn in between the layers. Same thing here towards the top. Let's note in between the fingers, there are, are good amounts of perforation. That's one of the best ways to drive air into a glove. When you've got your hands on the bars, the air rushes up into that area. And then on a mesh glove like this, it just simply, you know, it can escape anywhere. It removes the moisture and the heat energy from between your hand and the glove. Works to keep you cool and comfortable. It's going to be a very nice warm weather glove. Let's go back to protection here. On the outside of the thumb, we've got leather and some energy absorbing foam sewn here in the high impact area. Tip of the thumb as well. Side of the hand here is leather. Outside, leather all down the side. Here over the wrist, we've got leather, little energy absorbing foam. In the palm, energy absorbing foam, additional layer of leather in the high impact and high wear areas here where you'll hold the bars. All in all, we think this is a nice glove from Speed and Strength. If this is the look and style that you're looking for and you're, you're really into a leather glove that offers a certain degree uh, of protection and a great amount of airflow, we think this is a, a good compromise with the mixture of the mesh and the leather. This is the Moment of Truth SP glove from Speed and Strength.